let's go through the anatomy of, of the muscle and this in particular uh, comes up and can be a little bit confusing when you're first going through things so the reason why um, I want to go through this is because I had somebody ask me how do I remember the difference between an endomycium a perimycium and an epimycium now if you're not level three anatomy and physiology you're gonna be listening to these like what the um, <laughs> please don't panic just store this in the back of your head for later um, and if you're watching the recording you can skip through if you're not at the level three point that's absolutely fine okay so the thing that I really want to go through in particular is the sort of structure now you've seen this in um, like uh, in your anatomy and physiology manuals uh, or if you're on our revision mastery you've seen us do this via a, a PowerPoint presentation but usually it looks um, like a, it's part of the sliding filament theory and you get this bundle of muscles and then they kind of break it down and you can sort of see the muscle fiber sticking out the end and if that's all very well but it kind of can get a little bit confusing and a little bit um, I think the word is because it's so um, it's so intricate that then trying to understand that and then make that 3D in your mind and then apply it to your body can just be a little bit raw. Now this question came in off the back of what we done on Friday's revision tutorial. I'm going to say Friday. It might have been last Wednesday. I think it was last Wednesday. Um, so on last the last revision tutorial that we did anyway. Um, and on that we were basically talking about how um, the sarcomere and what a sarcomere is. And I drew you a little post-it note that had a sarcomere on it. And it looked a little bit like... Um, she says, drawing as she goes. There's no one I made earlier on this one today. So I had a little sarcomere, looked like this. So you had your actin around the edge, and you also had your myosin in the middle, and together that created a sarcomere. So each of these sarcomeres, remember, stack end on end, and that is both, they are both myoproteins, they are muscular proteins, myofilaments. So they stack then one sarcomere followed by another, followed by another, followed by another. So sarcomere is the first thing you need to know. So first thing is sarcomere. Now I know on Facebook Live, when you see this, it's going to be the wrong way around, but if you're fantastically on YouTube then this will be the right way around which is always good hey so if you want to see this later go over to our YouTube channel and then you can see it and it will be the right way around so sarcomere is the first thing this is this one actin and myosin both together then you've also got if you have these linked up end on end on end on end they become a muscle fiber so the next one is muscle fiber now, this muscle fiber, so again, Kelly, this one is not level two, this is level three, definitely level three for the, for the breakdown of the muscle fibers and the anatomy of a muscle. You don't need to know this for level two, definitely level three. Is that okay? Give me a little quick thumbs up, that that's okay. Um, so in relation to the sarcomere and then the muscle fiber. So sarcomere was what we drew a moment ago with the actin and the myosin. And actually, as I do this as a little doodle, it's nice to use this as your brain dump. So sarcomere, that's this little square with the, with the strange looking kind of caterpillar type shape. Um, and then uh, the little box around it. So that's your actin and myosin inside. That makes one whole sarcomere. Now, remember, your muscle fiber is the combination of all of those. So you have them all back to back, making up one long fiber. So... If you imagine each of these boxes is a sarcomere. So each box is a sarcomere. They all build up end on end do, 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 into one muscle fiber. Perfect. Awesome. I had a comment. Somebody asking, um, am I sitting on the floor? Yes, I had a heavy leg session this morning. And sitting on a chair is really not helping me. So I am sat cross-legged on the floor. Yes. In case you wanted. <laughs> um, okay, and then throughout this muscle fiber, so where on earth was I? So from that muscle fiber, you then have this, you have all these muscle fibers build up together.
but around each of those, each muscle fibre, is a little coating. So this coating then goes the whole way round the muscle fibre itself. Okay, now this coating is a connective tissue, so it's responsible for connecting tissues together. Now this one is an endomycium. Now, you're going to hear the word mycium a lot. Mycium comes from the word, obviously, muscle, which is myo. So mycium is the muscle part. And then the endo, I want you to think it's the end of the line. It's the smallest it can get to. It's the furthest point. And that's because the sarcoma is the tiniest little bit within our, the smallest we can get to. And then we're gradually working our way bigger into a bigger muscle. Okay, so endomycium is the end of the line. It's the smallest it can possibly go to. Awesome, George. Yeah, that's fine. I will definitely tag you in later um, so you can see it. Did you have any questions, George? Any particular? Perfect. Pop them down and I'll definitely do it towards the end. Okay, so that's your endomycium. And that's the coating around a muscle fibre. Perfect. Now, these all muscle fibres all build up together to create a fascicle. So a fascicle is a bundle of muscle fibres. So then if I have that end on end, so a bundle of muscle fibres, each of muscle fibres is then surrounded, if you like, with the endomycium, and then a fascicle is this bundle of them all. But there is a connective tissue that then wraps all of those fascicles together. It's kind of like imagining um, you've got lots of um, straws. All these straws are then together, and then you're going to put a, ra a wrapping of cling film around these straws to keep them in place. So your fascicle is the straws all bunched together, but it's the connective tissue that goes around that is the perimyceum. Awesome. Okay. So that kind of looks like this. Fab. And then from there, you then have all of these fascicles all build up together. So you have lots of fascicles, each with a little perimyceum around them. These then build up into becoming a muscle body, which is then what we see. So the actual muscle belly. And that muscle belly is going to be a mixture of all of those little fascicles, each then surrounded. So I'll try and draw these like that with the little dots. So that's a mixture of all of these built up. So lots of these ones all built up into a muscle belly. And then that is then covered one final time into an epimycium. Now I'm going to give you a way of remembering all of these in just a second, but that's all then covered in an epimycium. This epimycium then covers the entirety of that muscle belly. So this is my muscle belly. So muscle belly and it's totally covered all the way around makes it epimycium. Now this part then leads off into your tendons, which then lead to your bone. So let's kind of draw that on there. Try and draw this bit off here, tendon, and then onto the bone. Well, I never did very good at art, so apologies. <laughs> so it goes, epimycium uh, is your large part around the muscle itself. That leads off into the tendon, so all the epimycium kind of bunches together. You know when you wrap something in cling film or foil, and then you kind of bunch the ends together and it gets really stiff at the ends? That, that's basically just your tendon. It's just a chunk of connective tissue and that allows it to get attached to the bone. That's all that's happening. So you need a way to remember this because that's quite a lot of information. And poor Kelly is only preparing for her level two, but I'm sure your brain is boggled at the thought of having to try and remember this. <laughs> so you're not there yet. Don't worry about having to think about this too much right now. Now, there are different um, sort of acronyms that people have set up, different stories, which is a good way of remembering it. So if you want to set yourself one up, you've basically got um, the first letter of each of these, you can maybe create yourself a little story, a little rhyme, someone done a little song, that's fantastic. 
I'm not going to create a song and sing it to you. You do not want that. <laughs> it's not entertaining for anyone. Um, so as part of this, then the way that I remember each of these connective tissues, which was the question that I had, um, so it was endomycium, paramycium, and epimycium. How do we remember what way round they are? So epi, let's start with epi. And I like to remember this is that it's epic. It's the biggest version, it's the biggest one that we have of those connective tissue bundles. So it's a it goes around the entire muscle belly and it is epic. It is the biggest of all of our connective tissue. It's the most epic. <laughs> okay. Then the paramycium, I love this one. You're going to think I'm mad, but I love this one. So the paramycium, remember that this is in the middle of these three, based purely on the fact that when you have your peri-peri, I know it's not slightly differently, but your peri-peri chicken at Nando's, you generally put your peri-peri sauce in the middle of your sandwich rather than on the outside. So you put it on the middle of your wrap or your burger or whatever it is you have rather than on the outside. So peri-peri goes in the middle, perimycium. Please let me know you're listening and that I'm not just talking about Nando's on my own. Um, so, <laughs> theory in the middle is a way of remembering that one. And then endomycium, like I said earlier, is end of the line. So that's the smallest. So end of the line, smallest that you can get to. End of the line. Now, that's how I remember these three in particular. So generally, someone just needs a little memory jog. That's how I remember the difference between endomycium, paramycium, and epimycium. Give yourself something to link it to. Epimycium is epic. Paramycium is, think about piri piri sauce. Your piri piri goes in the middle of your sandwich. It is the middle of the connective tissues. And then your endomycium is your end of the line. It's the smallest point. 